Hello YouTube, Kalumi here. We are in the world. Um, I'm sure you'll notice this looks nothing like my base. And uh, that is because this is actually spawn. Um, this is a very small little spawn village that has been created. Um, in theory you spawn sort of over here somewhere and wander into the village. Um, I am very sad to say that uh, there was a new Sorry. Um, wow, the train of thought just went bloop and left me. Um, this is a brand new house that uh, that was built yesterday, um, which I didn't even try to record because I was frustrated with the uh, with the way that the recording was um, not working properly. There was an up, uh, update to the software that I used to record and. Uh, they um well the old software apparently didn't like mountain lion which i guess i hadn't recorded since i had upgraded my no that's not true either cuz i had updated my computer before i did a couple of recordings that worked fine so i don't know what the issue was but um the video was very very jumpy sort of like um if you were stuck in a block um that old sort of thing. Oh look, somebody's built more graves that look interesting. Alright. Um, but uh, I had an awesome video going that I was um, going to build this graveyard and crypt with you. And uh, it was going rather well until I watched back some of the video and every couple of seconds it was acting as though I was stuck in a block which drove me nuts so I have scrapped all of that um, because if it was too painful for me to watch back it was cruel and unusual punishment to show you guys um, but so we've got some graves going um, I want to say Max Ryder said he was going to add a couple of graves so those might be from him um, my husband being the dork that he is, added some names. There's a grave for the old server and uh, one for the fallen warrior, which um, he actually has a casket in, um, which he had hidden some armor and stuff. We actually just killed the wither, um, which I was really hoping to record, and uh, well, that didn't work out because my software was being dumb. Um, and I felt bad making them wait so long, so I said, yeah, let's go ahead and do it without me recording, and uh, I'll link you to their videos. It'll be on um, the Pukas YouTube as well as um, oh, Scotty's, so I'll link those in the description of this. Um, but anyway, so we, uh, story about this crypt, I guess, why it's here. Um, that actually looks better than I thought it would not a huge fan of the cobble, but we'll go with it. Anyway, um, they decided that letting a wither loose in the world was not a good call, so um, we actually have a 20 by 30 um, bedrock box under spawn here, somewhere way down low. I don't know. I didn't build it. Um, and then in order to get there, there's a command block. Well, it was just sitting in a really ugly house sort of down here. Um, so I decided, well, if you're going to go fight a wither, what would be a good way to hide, uh, you know, the button to get down to where you're going to fight him? And I thought, well, a graveyard or a crypt might be kind of cool. So I borrowed the inspiration from this from, um, no, oh, Hero Bane's, Hero Brine's, um, mansion adventure map. This is very similar to the uh, the crypt they had there, only theirs opened up in the back and then went down and you'd fight a boss or whatnot down there. Um, so here I just built this little room. You push the button and it takes you down to the bedrock room. Um, and uh, you come up a couple of levels here and this is where you would fight him. Um, I realize it's dark 
and it's gloomy and there's nothing in it. Um, this little block is here for some reason because this bottom corner is a protected part of spawn and we couldn't really do anything about it. Um, I don't know. I thought it was sort of silly to fight withers down here and sort of takes the challenge out of it and the um, the threat of um, destroying your base right out of it which to me was part of the fun of doing it. Um, so that'll take you back here. Alright, who did that? Because that just looks silly. Come on, if you're going to do that, put a jungle tree in or something. Or fill in this area with leaves. Part of me thinks that's going to have to come down. Whoop, there's a hole there. It's a puddle. Alright. Um, so I do apologize that, uh, well, I guess an apology is not really necessary. It's uh, just sad that uh, this video got scrapped and that my software was being dumb so I couldn't record the, the wither kill. Um, let's try going through the nether to get back home and see what happens here. Um, I'm laggy when I'm not recording in the nether so we'll see how this goes. It very well could go badly. Okay. So this is what little bit of another hub we've got going. Um, nothing too spectacular. One of these moments I'm going to set up rails. Um, wow. Yeah, this is about average. Oh, no, I was going to say average lag, but no, that's, that's not average lag. Um, I know you can't hear this, but I do. I have a cat climbing my Christmas tree. And I'm gonna laugh really hard when the whole darn thing falls over because it looks like somebody has put the tree on one of those vibrating beds that you would put a quarter in. The whole darn tree is just shaking away. Um, I could get up and scare her away, but I won't. That takes the fun right out of it. So we go down this long trail. Like I said, I need to put in some sort of rail system or something. This is reasonably new. Um, it apparently goes to Silver Spire. Um, we'll have to go check that out one of these days. I have never been there. My nether hubby basey sort of thing um, is, uh, is in another fort which is always exciting. Um, I must have built this on uh, not quite in a, a chunk because they keep escaping. Um, this is the um, the mushroom or the moo pen. Um, in theory you take a mushroom, you leave a diamond. Nobody has ever taken me up on that. Um, but these guys keep escaping. And it's funny, when the blazes spawn not where they should, they hunt the mushrooms. Um, this is a ghetto blaze farm that Puka built that nobody really uses anymore because the real one's done. Um, but you go through... And I sort of wanted to build a fortress, castle sort of thing in the nether where I would be safe. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the nether. In particular, I'm not a huge fan of ghasts. Um, so there's where the, the fort sort of continues on. Um, I've got my hallways sort of laid out. Um, this room goes to a jungle temple that I've been using as a temporary starting base. Um, which is kind of neat. I don't know. My... Uh, Snow Castle base um, is over that way. What was Puka talking about? I missed it. Got some heading to the castle. Okay. Um, he is going to apparently helped me build a um, pyramid for the 
beacon um, at the castle. Um, uh oh. Of course there's friends. Um, so, real quick here, I'm just going to show you this and then we'll head to the castle um, before I get too many friends. This is a blaze farm. Um, ignore those. Okay, I don't know what that means, but we're gonna go with it. Um, and it's also on the wrong setting. Um, so, again, built by Puka. When in doubt, if there's something red stony that needs built in the nether, he has more patience for guests than I do, so I let him do it. Um, but basically I come here to cook cobblestone for my uh, um, snow castle. And while that's cooking, I kill blazes to get the rods to feed the furnaces. Um, let's get out of here, maybe. Ah, friends. I hate when friends show up to to help me. I really don't want to be their friends. Jeez. Ghetto doors are always exciting. Um. So today at work was interesting. Um. Since the uh, the video didn't go up yesterday due to poor quality. Um, I had talked a little bit about uh, what I do for a living, um, which um, I work retail um, at a grocery store locally, and then um, I also do web design work for a firm um, in, I guess you could call it the next town over where I live. You live in one town, you work in another, and you go to school in a third, and if you go shopping, you want to go to the fourth. It's just, there's a whole hootenanny of mess that doesn't really need to be that way, but it is. Um, so I was at my retail job today, and, uh, oh look, Puka's here. Um, oh, see, can't build a thing without, um, yeah. One of these moments I'm going to move an ender chest out here, but I don't have one yet. Anyway, back to the grocery store. Um, because it's the holidays, um, we have gotten in these really dorky, blinking, um, they look like light bulbs or Christmas tree bulbs or um, necklaces. And the red and the green lights on them, or bulbs on them, actually blink, the little LEDs. And it's really cute and irritating all at the same time. So I have one of them that uh, um, came with the display. Um, when we set it up, there were a couple freebies, and they were like, "Hey, just share them with your cashiers, and um, you know, have fun with it." So I've been wearing one the last week um, or so, and tonight one of the other girls decided that she really, really, really wanted it, and uh, it's just been hysterical because in theory we got two of them we can't find the other one um, and she begged and pleaded and I didn't care enough to really like they're f four or five dollars a piece if um, you wanted to purchase one and I don't think they're cool enough for four or five dollars but for free I'd wear one around and be a dork um, so I left one with her um, when I left work tonight because she was having a conniption fit that they couldn't find the second one. She really wanted to wear it um, and be a dork and um, as one of the, the folks at work put it tonight, flash people. Um, I used the term sparkle but they wanted to flash people so we uh, left it there and it was all exciting and good. Um, my husband stopped by after I got off work because he was grabbing a few things on his way from home from his retail job at a competitor, which I think is absolutely hysterical. Um, but that's a whole nother story. Um, and uh, he happened to see her and mentioned, "Oh, what they give you? They give those out to everybody now?" And she goes, 
no, that reminds me, I have to remember to give this back. I don't know, it was just a really amusing story to me that probably is not very amusing to anybody else. Um, we are back at the base, and I think I lost my husband, I don't know where he ended up. Um, anyway, I am going to harvest these and maybe do another layer or so on the castle. Um, as you can see, I haven't done anything. Oh, there he is! Um, since uh, um, since the tour, it's been an annoying couple of days. Um, YouTube has decided that I'm not worthy of uploading um, videos, so um, and they won't tell you why. So we'll see if we can't get that figured out, but. Um, oh jeez. Um, I'm gonna get this finished up, do a little bit more in the castle, and, uh, I will see you next time. Have a good night, YouTube.